This is Russ with Devoted Golfer TV. It's 2019. It's the afternoon of the PGA Merchandise Show, and I'm here with David Gott. And David Gott is Tour Exotics. Right? President, founder. Yeah. Tour Edge Golf. Yeah, so we talked a little bit last year about how you got involved with this. I think we can skip that this year. Let's just talk about the new technologies that you're bringing out this year. So Russ, you've seen us on tour the last year, especially Champions Tour. We had seven wins. We yeah. had 60 top tens. Yeah. We did have a PGA Tour win as well. Okay. And we had a lot of great players playing our stuff. Hybrids, fairways, drivers? Fairways and hybrids. Fairways and hybrids. Like, you know, let me repeat the story about your fairways. Yeah. I've got a CB1. Yeah. Did it even say one on it or just, did CB. it just say CB? Right. I got a CB right. that was in my bag for a long right. time. So we learned a lot with these tour players last year. Yeah. So we, we had great product out there, which we had so many in play to have 60 top tens. Right. So multiples and multiples in play. And the stuff's great. But we said, how can we improve it? Because we have to come out with a new one next year, right? Yeah, yeah. So we utilize the tour players quite a lot mm -hmm. to say, okay, guess what? You know, I really like what I'm looking at here, yeah. but it's a little big. So we made the head shapes a little smaller. Yeah, yeah. And I, yeah, the tour players would like that. Yeah, yeah and then, you know, they love the black. No decal. Yeah. This, this neck is specifically for a tour player because it actually kind of goes this way. Oh, okay. So it, it looks like it almost has a little bit of on, offset. Yeah. They don't want they don't want the hosel looking going, looking backwards. They don't, gotcha. They don't want, yeah, they yeah. don't want it going that way either. Our technology is a titanium cup face. Yes. On, on a fairway. And it's been there forever. Yeah, I mean, married to steel. Okay. But this one's much lighter than the past. Okay. So we're saving 50 grams of weight in the face area. So it allows us to move How'd you that, do that? way. How'd you do it's that? It's a thinner, better beta t titanium. Beta titanium. Yeah. Explain yeah. to our viewers what beta titanium is. Okay, so beta titanium is a, a more solid form of titanium, meaning it has beta materials added to the titanium mm -hmm. to improve the strength. Okay. So it's always a chemical mix. Okay. But beta is more expensive. It's harder. Yeah. We can make it thinner. Okay. So we save weight. Yeah. Does that get you a little faster speed? Exactly. Ball speed off speed. the face. Yeah. We added a little bit deeper face on the okay. new fairway one. Okay. On the CBX 119. Okay. And uh, so we save all that weight, and we save we put carbon in the back. Believe it or not, mm -hmm. push the weight forward. Okay. We want the sweet spot or the center of gravity in this area right here. Yeah. Yep. Really in line with the shaft. Right. That's how a good player attacks the ball. Yep. It's right down the shaft. Okay. So they love that feeling, and that's really hard to achieve. Yeah. We couldn't achieve it without these two things happening. And you don't have a uh, fitting hosel in here. We don't, because too much weight's lost in there. Yeah, yeah. We, we can use, We don't need 13, 15, 16.5. I absolutely you don't get really it. Need it. Yeah, you don't really I, need you know, it. I fit all the time. I put people into a right. into a setting, and they never change it. Yeah, I, you know, I had a guy in the other day. He didn't even know how to use his wrench. Yeah, you know what they call it, Ross? Is they change it twice. Once to change it, and then once to change it back. Oh yeah, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. So that's how you know we would lose 15 grams or something in there. Right. So. And so you're able to take that 15 grams and push it down. Put it exactly where you want. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. So you've got in, more. In discretionary weight. Right. Yeah. What's this little uh, horseshoe looking thing Yeah, here? so we call it the wishbone. And we made the wishbone a little lighter, a little wider this time. Okay. And it improves our MOI because we get more weight away from the center of the back. Yeah. And it allows and for a larger carbon piece than the last. And when you well. say improves the MOI, you're opening up your sweet spot a little bit with yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. Your MOI is your twisting, right? So right. if it twists less, you're going to get better results on heel and toe. Right. Yeah. I love that test. You used to do that on putters. Yeah. Right. Tapped them. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the fairway. Okay. Even flow shafts, any color. Okay. Really good stuff. Yep. I've done some work Premium. on even flows. I like Premium them. Golf Pride 360 yep. grip. Mm -hmm. Number two grip on tour. Is it really? Yeah. 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 So this is the hybrid. Yeah. So the and hybrid. This is, this is the big one for you on tour. It has been. Yeah. It really has been. I think you'll see a lot more fairways this year as well. Mm -hmm. um, but the hybrid, um, we changed a lot. Okay. Although we had so many in play. So the main thing is much deeper face. And you can see it's a pretty deep face for a hybrid. I like deep face hybrids. I do too. You can't pop them up. Yeah. And I'm more confident with a deep face hybrid when I'm in the light rough. Yeah. Right? 
Because I'm, you know, I'm always afraid in the light rough when I pull out a really shallow club. Right. That I'm going to submarine the damn thing. I know. Yeah. And there's a lot of that. Yeah. But the really cool thing is on this one is this face is made of titanium also. Mm-hmm. With the, the deeper face, it has a much higher CT. Okay. Or rebound effect. Yeah, yeah. So we're getting more power than we got in the last model. Okay. So yeah. these go about 10 yards farther than the CBX. Okay. The CBX 119 is about 10 yards longer. Okay. So when it's a more penetrating ball flight, less spin, mm-hmm. they go a mile. They go far. So mm-hmm. that's really exciting to us. Yeah. We have uh, less space progression. The shaft's a little bit closer to the leading edge. Yeah. A little wider uh, speed ramp sole. Right. And a wider wishbone. So yep. Put more Open. carbon here than yep. before. Okay. And uh, so you shove the weight up a little bit. So this is this is like a re- center gravity. This is more of a replacement iron. Is it's what I'm hearing. It's more iron like. Yeah. 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 But it still has the it still has the long horizontal sweet spot. Yes. You know, I always think, why are we playing a high Instead of a instead of a long iron, and my thought is, well, the longer that shaft gets, the shallower that swing gets, and the shallower that swing gets, the more the miss pattern is horizontal as opposed to vertical. Mm-hmm. And so I want people playing something that's got a little more forgiveness in this direction on their long irons. Yeah, I mean, forgiveness is so easy with a hollow club head, you know. Yeah. So yeah. different than an iron. So what kind of lofts do I have on these? Every loft. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 22. Okay, so I'm 4-iron replacing here. So you're 2-iron, 3-iron, 4-iron, 5-iron, 6-iron, really, in the modern terms of loft. Okay, yeah. Yeah, as I like to say, 7 is the new 6. Correct, and, you know, the 22 actually launches pretty, pretty quick. Yep, yep. Because the center of gravity is down, there's the so center many, of gravity is back. so many yeah. things. Yeah. It launches quick, but it's got 22 degrees of loft, which is mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. quite a lot. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, just hybrids in general, since the CG is you know, deeper than an iron, right. automatically you're going to get better launch. They're easier to yeah. hit. Yeah. In this case, it launches quick, but there's no spin. Okay, Very so little. I still get, so I still get a good yeah, angle you, of descent. Yeah, none of this. Yeah. You know, it's just this. Yeah, and I get enough angle of descent. Right, so, so in the wind like this, it was much straighter. Yeah. You know? Yep. Okay. Let's go drivers, to the big boy. Yeah. Yeah. So this Tensi. driver is, yeah. uh, we're absolutely smashing it with this driver. Mm-hmm. It has a ton of technology. So we start with carbon. So on the crown. All, the entire crown's carbon. Okay. Save weight, good feel. Mm-hmm. We add carbon to the toe. Okay. You can see we're trying to move weight to the heel area. Okay. And why we're doing that is it's more draw enhancing. So it helps the club face, having that weight in the heel, helps the club face rotate through impact. Okay. So there's much less slice or right shots. Yeah. And then our heaviest weight, which is nine grams, is in the heel. Mm-hmm. And our lighter weights three grams in the back. Okay. So that's the draw enhancing mode. We set it up that way. Okay. If you switch those, it's a little more you're trying to hit the ball straight. You don't have a problem with it hitting it right. Okay. So it has a, a deeper center of gravity. It goes a little bit higher. You mm-hmm. put the nine degree weight in the back. Okay. Now I'm looking at the sole and I see this area here. Yes. And I know that that's on one of your fairways as well. Yeah, so it's a little it? different yeah. on the driver. Yeah. It's really just increases speed through the impact area. And if you do hit the ground, it helps it bounce to the turf a little better. Okay. So this is really about aerodynamics. Slipstream sole in the driver is more about aerodynamics, correct? Okay. Oh, face technology face here? Face technology is really cool. Um, we use beta titanium on the face, so it's a better better grade. Uh huh. We have VFC, so thin and thick spots to mm-hmm. increase the sweet spot all over the face. Mm-hmm. And we have what we call roll face technology. So in the toe area, you know balls are roll numbers, right? Yeah. Our normal okay. face is 12 by 12. Okay. 12 inch. Uh, bowls by a 12 inch roll. Mm-hmm. We do 8 by 8 in the toe area. So it's rounded. Okay. So it helps our gear effect on the toe shot. Okay. Come back to the target. Yeah. We've been doing that for a little while. We just haven't really promoted it. Okay. Adjustable? And then adjustable up here. And the cool thing about this adjustability on this hosel is this. Um, 
We use a two degree angle on the cam camber, camper. Mm -hmm. That's more than normal. So when you just change it one setting, mm -hmm. it, it changes a lot. It changes one degree both ways. So on the say the the neutral setting, yeah. that's our standard, right? So that's nine or ten five in this case. Mm -hmm. So if we go n minus one. It's going to be 9.5 mm -hmm. just by going that far. Mm -hmm. This takes you to 8.5. Okay. And then the plus loft will take you to 11.5, and we can get 12.5 out of this driver loft. Yep. Yep. So it's pretty aggressive. Yeah. Changing. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, so you know, in Texas, I say deal often on the yeah. on the windy days, yeah. and you know, take a little loft yeah. if it's just rained yeah. and and you need carry, not roll. Cause, yeah, because really neat because if you combine the two, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm not a slicer. I want to hit it a little higher, and then, but I, but then I try it, right? Oh, it goes a little too high. Then I de loft it here, mm -hmm. and di it dials in. All right. It's really cool. Yeah. So the weights first, then you mess with the shaft second. Okay. And we got to mention this ex. Driver, yeah, it's 299 at retail. 299, so very aggressively priced. 299. That's like half of, of most of the rest of the business. We're being very aggressive. I get it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it has a premium shaft. Yep. Tensei. Yep. It's probably the hottest shaft going in, in 2018. Well, you know, we had a significant number of marquee players out on tour with that shaft for quite a while. We, we sure did. Yeah. And you know, they have orange. White is good for those guys. Yes. But the blue is good for everybody else. Oh, yeah. And the blue we went with, I, not I, only because it matched nicely, yeah, yeah. but it's really a fantastic shaft. I understand the blue profile, and it fits 75, 80% of the golfing public, yeah. right? Right. It's it's that, it's the, it's where you start the fitting. And then, you know, they have 55 gram all yep. the way up to 75 gram. Right, yeah. So a nice wide range. Yeah, yeah. yep. So, iron story this year. Yeah. Really like crazy with the iron. Uh, I've talked to many fitting guys at yeah. the show here today, and they yep. said, guess what, Dave? You have the longest iron in my store. Really? I'm like, yeah, I know. I was just hoping you guys agreed with us. Mm -hmm. It's really long. And, and that's what and it's all you about. Get, how'd you get it? A lot of technology. But, okay. you know, we, we see what's going on out there in the world. And it's all track man fittings and, and whatever. Mm -hmm. Launch monitor fittings, right? right? And really what it wins every time is the longest iron. Is that right or wrong? I don't, that's not how I work. I have to sell golf clubs. Right. If I'm not getting getting sales and irons, I'm doing something wrong. Right. So yeah. we really we really set out to make the longest iron mm -hmm. on the track man and fitting mm -hmm. area. So uh, very cool concept. This is actually I don't have the parts. It really is much easier to see if we had the parts. But we start with a cup face. Okay. That we picked up from our woods. Yep. There's a spider web pattern in the back. Okay. That was computer generated mm -hmm. over time. Okay. It just so happened that it kind of looks like a spider web. Yeah. What yeah. the computer wound up giving us. A spider web. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. it's similar to it. a yeah. BFT. Yeah. So it's thin and thick spots that go out in a spider web fashion. Mm hmm. Um, and then the body is actually hollow. So it's hollow in this whole chamber area here. Right. It's all hollow. So that gives you a really thin face. Yeah, so we can do a thin face and have good support and a deep center of gravity because we have all the weight back here. Yeah, yeah. And down low. And this is a lot of weight in this area. Yeah. We have a little launch pad down here, too. And I, I like the shape of the sole. It, so, so in terms of turf interaction, you know, it's I've got hard. it here, but you've pulled out yeah. turf interaction here. It tends to keep your ball going straight. Yeah, yeah. It's only touching on there. Right. Especially grass like this with a real firm line. Yeah, yeah, especially effective. All right, yeah. great sole shape. Tell me about the, tell me about the back here. Yeah, so this badge is made of steel actually, but it's real thin steel, mm -hmm. um, and it has a like a gel compressed pad. Uh, press against it. You have to have these pads with these super thin faces. Yeah, or the iron will just sound clinky. Okay. So it's a dampening process yeah. that we apply. Yeah. And then as you can see, we got up and down raised areas in here. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a VFT almost, too. And, and it supports, you know, the most hidden part of the face. This is where the, it needs strength and structure. Uh -huh. That's why this is all is here. It's like a, a grill on a car we kind of yeah. look at it as yeah. from a design element. 
so, so the pad here is reinforcing the face, but it's also dealing with the acoustics of, of the thin exactly. face, which is always an issue. Yes. You get really thin and you get you right. get feel issues and right. you get sound issues. So they feel and sound really good, and they're distance kings. So, exciting. Okay. Well, I have to take some out and uh, and uh, take for a test drive. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, David, thanks for spending your time with us today. Busy time. You got a busy booth going on My over pleasure. here. Yeah. Thanks, Russ. Thanks for Thank everything. you. Appreciate it.